Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're here, my name is Yua. And in today's video, I want to share my Sephora VIB sale recommendations for spring 2019. So if you would like to see my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And let's get started. So the first category that I'm going to go over for the Sephora VIB sale are eyeshadow palettes because I really like eyeshadow palettes and if you can get discount then that's awesome. So the first eyeshadow palette that I still use even till today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam eyeshadow palette. I feel like this is such a good eyeshadow palette for someone who likes neutrals, doesn't really steer far from natural everyday eyeshadow looks but also have these like deeper tones to kind of play with and something kind of pinky just to kind of give it some kind of different range of shades but I feel like this is perfect for an everyday natural glam to even something a little bit braver with these deeper shades on the end so I really love this eyeshadow palette when I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear that day I always stick to this eyeshadow palette. This next eyeshadow palette that I recommend is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the Rivera eyeshadow palettes that recently was just released. I feel like this palette is great for someone who wants to play with color and I feel like it's a great spring to summer palette just because it has a lot of those vibrant pinks, purples. It's very vibrant, something fun to play with. You have a bunch of mattes on the bottom and a lot of shimmers on top. So I feel like you would want to play with color. You want to add something kind of fun to your eyeshadow palette collection. I feel like this is such a great eyeshadow palette. The pigmentation is there. I feel like it's beautiful and just really fun to play with. The next eyeshadow palette is the Huda Beauty New Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I did purchase this I think towards the end of last year and I still feel like it's very beautiful. It has those pink, purple, plummy shades, some shimmers, some very like, um, I forgot what it's called, like it's not duochromey but it's like um, really beautiful like different formula to play with, you know, some matte shimmers, some pressed glitter shimmers. And I just feel like it's overall very beautiful. I don't really care for this concealer shade, but other than that, I love the formula. It's very buildable. It's very soft. And it's something that I feel like it's very safe if you want to play with like some very muted pinks and purples. So overall, I really enjoy this eyeshadow palette. And then the last eyeshadow palette that I recommend is the Dominique Cosmetics Berries in Cream Eyeshadow Palette. Very similar to the Huda Beauty. It sticks with those like plummy shades. This is a really big eyeshadow palette, but I love the formula. It's very soft and just very buttery and it just glides on and works really well with each other. And there are three shimmers right here that I feel like are perfect for like the inner corner or even all over lid shade. And then just this really fun pop of blue and a really deep black just to kind of deepen the outer corners. I really love Dami Cosmetics. Her formula. I feel like she did a really good job and I really love this particular palette. So one powder that I've been loving nonstop using is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. I've been loving to use this. I like to set my concealer under my eyes and wherever I put down the concealer, I feel like out of all the new releases that Fenty Beauty has come out with recently, I've been really enjoying the pro filter like setting powder the most and I feel like it works really well even though I have dry skin and I just use it constantly so I would highly recommend it if you have not tried it. Next I love this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I'm constantly raving and recommending this um, primerizer for a reason. It's because it works so well year round even for those who have dry skin like myself. I feel like you kind of get away with the primer and moisturizer in one if you have maybe normal to oily skin but I really love it. I am down. I did actually repurchase this when it was on sale but I definitely recommend that if you you know are still curious you want to get a discount. I feel like this is completely worth it and it has lasted me a very long time. A concealer that I highly, highly recommend if you have not tried is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I do wear the shade Light Beige. I did recently see like a sneak peek on like Trend Mood that they were coming out with new shades, which is great. I love this because it has that full coverage, but it's so creamy and it feels really light. And I feel like it blends out so easily. It doesn't feel heavy. And I feel like it dries down to a very comfortable formula. It's not super drying. So I really, really recommend this if you're looking for a new concealer. 
Now moving on to foundations, I don't buy a lot of high-end foundations typically because I just love my like affordable drugstore, you know, foundations. I think they've been doing such a great job, but there are some high-end foundations I completely feel that it's worth the purchase. And the first one is the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation. And I do wear the shade Natural Beige. I love this because this definitely gives a very good full coverage, but a satiny finish. And I feel like this is like the perfect formula for those who have normal to like dry skin like myself. I feel like you can find a really good shade range and it's good year round. I feel like I can wear this during summer, winter. It works really well. I never have to worry that it's going to get cakey or it's going to wear off. I just really, really enjoy this foundation. This next foundation is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I do wear the shade Santa Fe and this is a recent purchase but I've been enjoying it for the last two months. I feel like this is a really good like spring to summer foundation. It has a very medium to buildable foundation. It has a satiny finish as well. I would say it's not as full coverage as the Too Faced foundation but I really like this for like a very light everyday foundation I feel like it feels very comfortable and you know if you can find the good a good shade that matches you I think that this is great for everyday wear all right so then last I'm going to move on to skincare I just have a few products because I don't really change my skincare that often but I feel like this brand in particular from Sephora is so worth like the mention so the first item that I'm going to talk about is the Laneige water sleeping mask I love this. I know I've talked about this in the past if you've seen any of my recommendation videos, but I love using this because I, like I mentioned for the hundredth time, I have dry skin. So I use this maybe once a week. You know, I definitely have to put this in my beauty regimen, especially when I'm on vacation. I like to carry very like travel size and I like to use this on days I'm out in the sun all day. I really feel like it really helps capture and give my skin moisture back. So I definitely love this and I would recommend it if you have dry skin this next one is also from Laneige and this is the lip sleeping mask and I also not only have dry skin I have very dry lips as well so I love this this is definitely something that is very fragrant and I honestly don't really like the fact that it comes with like a little like spoon that you literally dip into it so um, other than that I really like the formula I definitely feel like it makes a difference when I use this I do wear this almost every single night or every other night and I wear it even during the day sometimes it just is very moisturizing it does have a very strong kind of sweet scent but other than that I feel like it does such a great job for those who have dry skin let me dry lips all right then Laneige I promise I just love their products but Lastly from Laneige, this is a recent purchase, is their Lip Glowy Balm. And I did purchase this in the scent Berry. I believe there's four scents out there. And this is really new. I believe I just bought this over a month ago. And I've been using this during the day because I used to use the lip sleeping mask during the day because I love this formula. And it gives that, you know, it's very comfortable, but I just didn't like the application of the Laneige because you had to use, like I said, that little spoon. So instead, finally Laneige came out with this as like a balm, which is great because you can literally, you know, apply it directly to your lips. And I really like this. This is a very scent, like I mentioned, and the scent is a little bit heavy, very similar to the lip mask but I feel like it's so comfortable on the lips and I feel like it just gives that tint a hint of like that berry shade so it's kind of like I would say probably like a berry like pinky tone but it's not too pigmented and I just feel like it's super comfortable it has like a glowy kind of a thick formula but it's just does so much on my dry lips that I've had I haven't had a problem with my dry lips lately so I definitely would say it's due to the Laneige lip mask and the Laneige balm so if you have dry lips I highly recommend those two Laneige lip products all right so those were all of my Sephora VIB sale spring 2019 recommendations I know there were a bunch of like repeats and um, a lot of recommendations I've mentioned in the past, but I truly love these products and I would recommend it if you're curious and you're still wondering if, you know, these are worth the purchase and I do recommend it. Comment below what will you be picking up from the Sephora VIB sales spring 2019. I think for me, I am very curious and I think I do have a few items on my wish list. So I think I'm looking at my phone right now. 
Right now in my cart, I have the Fenty Beauty um, Little Bronze Duo that just came out because I really want to try the bronzer, but I don't really want to get the full size bronzer. So I'm thinking of getting like the mini version. And then I'm finally thinking of picking up the Fenty Beauty Bomb Baby Mini Lip and Face Set. So that comes with the highlighter and the universal like lip gloss. So I haven't purchased that, but those two are kind of off my list right now, but I'm still debating if I'm gonna actually pick it up. So yeah, but if you've picked up any of those two products, comment below if you would recommend it. But other than that, let me know what you'll be picking up, what you recommend, and maybe the rest of us can kind of get a hint of what we should also check out. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.